Hi, this is Rich Coles from Productive Project Solutions. The purpose of this video is to give you some tips on how to manage projects with multiple dependencies. That is, when one project might need to pull in data from one, another project and another project. And then how do you link these all together, given that in a cell you can only have one link. So let's have a look at that. Before we do, just a quick reminder that the um, purpose of these videos is to help inspire people with what you can achieve within Smartsheets. Please, if you're not already, please subscribe or like this video. This way it will appear in the feed of other people so that they can also see and learn from this content. And if we can help you in any way, we love doing amazing things within Smartsheets, so please do reach out to us via our website. But no further ado, let's dive in and see what I mean by this. So here I've gone to a program plan, which I've shown in previous and um, our demonstrations and you can see that there's various things um, tasks here and some of them have got dependencies but you can't see this in this program plan so what might be needed by a PMO is actually a key dependencies tracker and in this case what I'm looking at is project bubbleo and project club card they have got multiple dependencies so in this case the kickoff of bubbleo can't happen until the store pilot has gone live for step up and there's been a go live on Zap as well. And the same for Club Card, there's various uh, dependencies there. So on the basis that where you set up within a project a um, interdependency, so if I go to um, Club Card, if I set something up in terms of the project kickoff, it can only have one item coming in. If you've got two dependencies, how do you get around that? Well, this is the way. So what you do is you set up a multiple rather a key dependencies tracker and this is also really useful if you've got a PMO where you want to be tracking what are the projects that are dependent on each other and to have an overall view of the risk and then what you do is in the key dependencies tracker you can list what are the items that are the dependencies for the project and in this case what we have done is we have linked the items down below and you can see with these blues that these are linking in and therefore as items change within that project then they will be linked across and so and if I just go to the store pilot go live for example for step up what I'm going to do is I'm just going to quickly link this one up so I'm just go to this one and I'm going to go in to step up so let's link to another sheet I'm going to search for step up it's going to find the project time plan and scroll down through time plan and it's going to go to store pilot, go live, and the people. So there we go. Um, and duration zero, create the link. And you can see that link is now there. So if any changes happen in that plan, they'll be notified. Now, so I'm just going to save and refresh. So what it means here now is, and just made a little um, error there, but I'll ignore that for the moment. So in terms of for this, the key point now is that if a change happens, so the kickoff for Bubbleo is actually linked to the latest date here. So you can see the earliest date and you can see the latest date. This now gives the time frame for Bubbleo of when that will happen. So in the same cup for Club Card. So what I'm going to do now is if I go to Club Card and you can see on Club Card the project kickoff, this is drawing the information in from the key dependencies tracker. So if there's any changes to these, it will move out. So let's go down to here and what you'll see is the key dependencies tracker I've got in here. What I'm going to do now is just give you a demonstration of what happens. So on project cough stop, which is down here, what we're going to do is we're going to increase the date here to be 40 days. And I'm going to press enter and save that. And what's going to happen as a result is you'll see that the date now has moved off to the 1st of November on that case. And so because this is linked through in terms of the, um, the timings on cough stop, then if I just refresh um, on this one, and what you should be able to see is the date has changed out on here. So it's now pushed it out to be the 1st of November. Again, if I can change that to be a Gantt view, what you can see is in terms of um, that, you can see the date has changed. Um, 
to set up the baseline, that says here the baseline, yes, and so it should be showing the baseline, that the date has moved out. Now, in terms of the these items here, what does that mean for club card? So if we go to club card, if we just go back to this view here and go to project club card, what's going to happen here is we're going to now find out that something's likely to have changed. And if I refresh it, you can see that the whole project is kicked out as a result of that dependency having changed. So the aim of this is to show you how instead of only having one link come to a project, the way around that is to have a key dependencies tracker and then you can work off the latest date back to your project. And so if multiple items are impacting a date on your project, link them up to the top one and off you go. So trust that's been useful. A way to see multiple dependencies um, within your projects. Again, we love doing funky things with for PMOs and so please do get in touch if we can help you. I hope if not, this has inspired you to find other solutions to your PMO challenges. So best of luck and uh, we love hearing from you. So get in touch. Bye for now.